In this video, we'll take a look at the Hadoop Distributed File System or HDFS. This file system is the method by which Hadoop organizes all the files that are submitted to it. Now, uh, these files could live in one computer or in multiple computers. So if it's a really large file, that file could be divided into smaller chunks and each chunk could be uh, stored in a separate computer in your computer cluster. And the Hadoop system keeps track of which file is located where. In addition, there's also some redundancy. Um, so the same chunk of file could be stored in two or three or four different computers just so that if one computer goes down, you have that chunk of data in another computer. So Hadoop keeps track of this, uh, all of this uh, seamlessly for you so that you basically only work with a single chunk of file. And behind the scenes, Hadoop will splice and dice the files into multiple file chunks and reorganize them back into uh, you know full files for you to look at and so on. And all this happens through the Hadoop MapReduce algorithm, if you will. Now, the Hadoop file system is, is kind of similar to the Linux file system that we just saw in that it is hierarchical, it has paths, it has permissions and so on. The major difference is that the Hadoop file system, unlike Linux, uh, is stateless. That means it does not contain, uh, it does not remember which directory or uh, working directory or folder you're currently in right now. Each time you have to specify the entire path and we'll take a look at that. And another major difference is that you cannot modify files on the Hadoop file system. You can either delete files or you can add new files, but you cannot modify them. Let's, uh, with that, let's dive into some of the specifics. So you can look at all the commands in the Hadoop file system by typing in H-A-D-O-O-P Hadoop FS. And you can type this from your uh, Linux prompt. Um, and if you press enter, it'll show you all the different commands that are there. Um, in, in great detail and you can explore it further if you want. Now, let's take a look at one specific command after another and I'll explain what you can do with it. I'm going to list all the files that are currently located in the Hadoop file system in this machine. So I type Hadoop FS, FS stands for file system, dash LS and forward slash. Now, dash ls is now familiar to you i'm sure it basically is kind of like the linux uh, ls command it lists all the files in a particular folder that you specify the folder path that we are specifying is forward slash which represents the root um, directory or root folder in the hadoop file system just like the root folder in the linux file system so if you press enter there's a certain gap because Hadoop is processing the information and then it will list all the files. You, uh, when you run this, it might take a little bit of time. Uh, just be patient and it will show up the results. So these are all the different folders that are located in the Hadoop file system. So let's see what's located in the user folder. So to do that, I'm just going to again press the up arrow. As you remember, the up arrow will pull out the previous command and you can press it multiple times and you can go back to previous, previous, previous commands. So I'm just going to press up arrow and I'm going to type user now in the end. So it'll now list me all the files in the user folder. And those are hive, hue and training. Now what we'll do is we'll create our own folder and I'm going to call it my data. So what I'm going to do is type Hadoop FS dash MKDIR. Again, very similar to the Linux commands, my data. Uh, note the forward slash because I want my data folder to be inside the root folder, which is a forward slash and MKDIR is preceded by a dash or a minus sign, uh, whereas the Hadoop FS is not preceded by a dash. So just observe those things and press enter. And now if you see, if you were to run this command here, Hadoop FS LS, you will see among the listed folders, you'll also see the my data folder, which we just now created. So let's go ahead and just for practice, create one other folder within my data. Um, so I'm just going to call it test folder. So that'll create a subfolder called test folder within the my data folder. And you can view that if you want, you can do an LS my data, and then you can do, you can, it'll show you the test folder subfolder within it. It's important to make a distinction between your Linux file system and your Hadoop file system. So let me just show this again. In the Linux file system, you just do ls here and it'll show you, well, let me do pwd and show you the uh, current working directory, which is home forward slash training. And the files within this are, these are all the different f uh, files and folders 
within the home for slash training um, folder, which is your current folder. Now, this is your Linux um, space, if you will. On the other hand, you have your Hadoop file space, which is separate. So if you do Hadoop within Hadoop, if you just do Hadoop FS dash LS, um, you're telling the computer to go look into the Hadoop file space. And if you do this, then it will list you all the full uh, folders and files in the Hadoop file system. And it's important to make a distinction and be clear about the difference between the two. We are now going to create a file in the Unix file, in the Linux file system, and we are going to save that into the Hadoop file system. So what I'm going to do is uh, create a new file called testfile.txt. So I'm going to open it using an editor called gedit. So I'm going to type in gedit testfile.txt ampersand, and that will ensure that this particular process is not holding up this particular terminal here. It's forked as a separate process. So if you do this, then gedit, which is the editor uh, that comes prepackaged with this Linux system, will open a new file called testfile.txt in the current working directory. And I'm just going to type in some data here. I'm going to call it line one, line two, and line three. And I'm going to save control S and just close this here. And now if you do ls, star dot txt. I'm just going to look for all files that end in txt. You'll see there's a file called uh, test file dot txt and it also reports that the process gedit test file dot txt is now done. What I will now do is show you how to save this file into the Hadoop file system. So to do that type in Hadoop fs and you type Hadoop fs for everything dot I mean dash put dash put will save test file dot txt from the current working directory into my data forward slash test folder forward slash this will take a little bit of time but eventually it will be saved there and you can just do uh, Hadoop ls If you do this, you should see a file called testfile.txt inside your Hadoop folder, which is my data test folder testfile.txt. It's also possible to pull out a file from your Hadoop file system into your Linux file system. To do that, I can use this command here. So what I'm doing here is I'm telling Hadoop to get this file called testfile.txt, which is located inside my data test folder subfolder and save it as new file.txt in the current working directory in wherever you are right now. So you press enter and you will see um, this new file.txt here. So what I'll do is ls star.txt and now you should see in addition to your old test file, you should see this new file.txt as well. So that's how you move files into and out of Hadoop. There is no such thing called Hadoop FS CD. It's not possible to change directory into a particular folder in Hadoop because Hadoop is stateless. That means uh, even if you try to change directory into a particular folder, Hadoop will not remember it. So every time you have to specify the entire path, like for example, this here. This is the entire path forward slash my data test folder test file.txt is the full path for the test file.txt file. So you have to specify that in Hadoop every time. You have to specify the entire path for the file that you're interested in in Hadoop every time. So that's what it means to say that Hadoop is stateless. On the other hand, uh, with Linux, I can just say ls and it'll give me the current directory, working directories, files, and folders. So it remembers where my current working directory is so it remembers my state so that's the difference between that's uh, one difference between hadoop and linux